the jury in this case is being uh, transported from a different location in a bus with the uh, windows uh, uh, covered so that they don't have to look at any, aren't exposed to any signs by one side or another or interest uh, in the case. And uh, so it's a, I'm going to call it a sealed bus. And uh, that's been done every day. And then they're brought here to this building. And um, last evening, um, a person who identified himself as James G. Morrison and who claimed that he was a producer with NBC News, employed uh, for N MSNBC, um, and under the supervision of a person, what's going on? Oh, okay. Uh, under the supervision of someone named Irene Bayon in New York, uh, for MSNBC, uh, the police, when they stopped him, because he was following at a distance of about a, a block and uh, went through a red light, pulled him over and inquired of him what was going on, and he gave that information and stated that he had been instructed by Ms. Bayon in New York to follow the jury bus. Uh, the matter is uh, under further investigation at this point, um, and the media has asked questions about it. That's the latest I have. Um, and he was ticketed for uh, uh, violating a traffic control signal. Uh, he's not here today from what I'm told, and um, I have instructed that no one from MSNBC News will be permitted in this building for the duration of this trial. Uh, this is a very serious matter, and I don't know what the ultimate truth of it is, but absolutely it, it, it would go without much thinking that someone who is following a, the jury bus, uh, that is a very, ex it's extremely serious matter, and uh, will be referred to the uh, proper authorities for further action. Thank you.